Deb is in hospital, that's all I know. And Chaz is there with her. She says she's going to ring me if she has anything. And Ruby. She was right where it hit. We were so scared in there. But at least we're safe. Diane, you see my dad? Not since lunchtime. It wasn't in there, and there's, there's no one in the village hall, so it, it must be all right. <sighs> and, and where's Val? They're getting her out of the mirror maze. She's taking her time, though. She was to, to fight with a paramedic. Or maybe she's pulled that fireman. And her. What are you doing? Val? Have you seen? It's all over Twitter. Mum, what's happened to you? Why's he here? I'm looking after your mum. God, your room. I couldn't reach you. Hey, get out. Not now, Lawrence. Yeah, crawling out of the wreckage, unscathed, as usual. Although I don't know why you thought you could crawl back here. I said not now. Look, would you go to your room? Uh, we just need a moment. Why? Will you just, just go? You're not hurt, are you? She's just a bit shaken. I didn't ask you. I did it. B what do you mean? D did what? The whole thing it was, it was my fault. It was all my fault. Chrissy, don't. I burned his car. I set it alight at the scrapyard. You were at the scrapyard? What's that got to do with the crash? Because the, the fire spread. There were some containers with gas in them or something, I don't know, and then, um, it blew up and people died! And now then the people are dead! Because of me! On November, no sign of God. She's out of theatre. The monitor in her, but she's still not awake. And where is she? Up the corridor, but give Pete a moment with her, yeah? Listen, you should get yourself to I'm, I'm OK. As you said, I hope, Pete. No, not really. I can't believe they managed to keep it secret from all of us. Any news? You can go in, though, if you want. A bit of company won't do her any harm at all. Well, there's no husband with her. Well, as far as I know, you're her only visitors. I told you what had happened. Why? What's the latest on Adam? He's on his way home. Dan? Um, probably best going in the back room. What's happened? It's Val. Is she okay? How bad? I'm sorry. Are you, is she in hospital? Oh, Finn. She's died. <laughs> How are you going to get that? It's David. Look, it's Valerie using his phone as a cover. You don't stay married to Valerie this long without a good nose for danger. <laughs> How much more had you offered him? A lot. But then it all went wrong and people are dying and it's all my fault. Put a bit of scotch in it.
What? Always you, isn't it? Do you think you can save this for later? Because your daughter needs help, and right now she's only getting it from one of us. Sure of that. Just like I always do, eh? Okay. Do you want me to sit with her for a bit and you can go and get yourself checked out? If he risked his life like that, surely he'd want to know that she's going to be all right. He cares, I know he does. Debbie. No, I'll get the doctor. Hey. hey. What's happening? Shh. Where's Pete? He'll be here. Promise. some time to be by yourself to think things through and I don't blame you after what's happened but you know what's done is done <laughs> and whatever has happened it's over but Debbie she, she, she doesn't need any more stress right now and if you've got any feelings for her then you, do you need to get to this hospital okay Just, just, just do it, will you? And yeah. come and tell her everything is okay. Pete, can you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, all right. I'm on my way. Back room. All right. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, you and all. Cause I, I was worried. I mean, I can't believe it when we heard about Val. Listen, um, I should probably be with Vic right now, but do me a favor, will you, and stick around? Please, look, I'll come back. There's um. There's just some stuff I want to say to you, OK? Hello. Oh, I said I'd take him for a bit, give Bella a break. Listen, why don't I drag Finn down to the hospital and I can um, check on Pete while we're there? Oh, don't be surprised if he doesn't want to talk. I just want to make sure he's all right, that's all. Hey. You heard anything from him? 
Who? Your brother. Which one? Either of them. No. Poor Pete. Oh, yeah. Poor, poor Pete. He gets to find out that his wife's a cheat and a liar on his wedding day instead of a few months down the line. I'm sorry, but does any of these, these, these really matter? I mean, really matter? Finn. It's, um, it's not really surprising. She was like a, um... A mother to him. It's true, she was. You're gonna be all right? Me? Yeah. You think we'll hear from Ross? I'm just glad one of them was out of harm's way. Wait. It's okay. <clears throat> I need to say something. I'm sorry things got so bad between us, Adam. I really am. But as far as I'm concerned, there's no hard feeling, yeah? You know, whatever happens, whether I stay or whether I go... I don't want you to. I don't want you to go. I know you mean well, but... Don't start making rash promises now, right? Nobody is in a state to think straight. I am. For the first time in ages. But you only get one chance, and then... Um, I don't want to miss out on this. I want to be part of it. Can I? It's my fault that she did it. And you know what she's about to do next? She's about to talk herself into a prison cell. People have died, and she's about to confess to everything. Was it my fault that I drive her to it? No one gives a toss. She did it. It was her. And if you don't stop thinking about how you can hurt me and start thinking about how you can help her, then it's going to be game over. Okay. I've been watching the kids. Where, where are they? Are they all right? Yeah, they're all fine. They're with Dad now. What about Debbie? She's okay. She'll be okay. Why are you throwing your clothes away? It's really dirty. I saw them helping people. 
I've got to go. Pete, I'm sure you'll sort everything out. It's all going to be OK. Medicating. We need the rest, though. Why is he still here? Take the pill. Your dad and I have decided to act nice until all this is over. Yes, we may not think much of each other, but we have your best interests at heart. We both love you. Oh, well, that's nice, because I hate myself. And so will everybody else when this gets out. It's not going to get out. What? Not if we all cooperate. I hope to God you're joking. Lucy, it's the only way. No, it's not! I know this is very upsetting. It's tragic. It's a tragic accident. Oh, I'm sorry. This is pathetic. I should be looking after you, not the other way around. What were you two even doing in there? Doug and Eric and Rodney shut us in together. Because we'd been rowing and I think they'd hoped we'd come out friends again. I thought you were fighting in there. I'll say. Don't worry. We made it up. We sisters, we fight, and then we make it up, and we've been doing it all our lives. The funny thing is, when I think it through and everything, I've got this feeling she saved my life. I've tried ringing Doug a dozen times. Nothing. And the same with Rodney. I must have called my dad 20 times. Don't know what else I can do. Oh, I don't know. I spent the last few hours trying to stop my dad finding out from someone else. But the more I think of it, I don't know what I'm going to say. Anyway, I just... Grab a room at the B and B like I normally do. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna get home with a capital? <laughs> I wasn't aware anyone was counting. I'm not used to all this drink. Hey, neither am I. It's your round. Get them and go on. Say me again, love, please. You know, I think you're going to be in a lot of trouble when you get home. <laughs> <laughs> Of all the ways to go. Very far, wasn't it? She could never just walk past the mirror. Sorry, probably. Yeah, you are. No, you're not. Maybe we should give Debs a bit of space.
tell me what you did. I don't deserve you. Pete, you're a much better person than me, I know that. It means nothing to me. It means nothing to me, I swear to you, I was confused. It was. I don't want anybody to talk about him. I don't want anybody to say his name. I don't want to think about this day ever again. To watch an exclusive interview of Charlie Hardwick's final goodbye, head to itv.com slash Emmerdale. I don't understand. You're fired, Sally. Do you understand that? I beg your pardon? You're fired. Close the door on your way out. That's your Corrie double bill tomorrow at 7.30 and 8.30. And next tonight on ITV, it's new Flock Stars.